Hi friends, in this video I am going to show you how to set up SSH or Wi-Fi in our Intel Ryzen when you have burned uh, Okta image. Previously on video I have shown you in Debian how to set up Wi-Fi. Compared to Debian in Okta, Wi-Fi setup is very easy. For this we are using Putty. Just open the Putty and give port and uh, butt rate. We use serial communication. Uh, already I have said we can see our booting process. Now uh, its booting process of intelligence is going on. Just wait. Okay. Uh, the important when you are uh, using, if you are new to intelligence and uh, Linux environment, it's fully, it's entirely different uh, because um, in Okta it support OPKG instead of apt-gate in Debian it will uh, use we can use use apt-gate apt for installation but here in Okta only opkg uh, the, some commands we used for Debian it's not working in Okta so be careful uh, while uh, entering the command don't get confused okay uh, here we have to give uh, configure uh, edison half and half and version to save us in Okta the configure edison uh, only it will work if you give in Debian configure Edison it won't work so don't get collapse few people are new to Intel Edison so I am saying what I what I have faced of forking for my project so I am saying these things we have to wait uh, my Wi-Fi uh, access point is my SS3 so I am giving 3 give airs then it's at asking a password give then wait for some time it will give you the IP address uh, the IP address is SSH uh, address for further usage please make note of it uh, here I have written set a password for my uh, Edison here asking to fully work with SSH we should set a password until the day SSH won't work so I'm going to configure uh, Edison uh, password. So configure underscore Edison half and half and password. Give this command. Okay. Password it will take you to another page. In this, uh, first I have tried with uh, four uh, only password uh, character source 5 but it asking me to give uh, nearly about uh, 8 so please give the characters about 8 for your password and make note of it because in SSH uh, when you log in with SSH uh, it will ask your particular uh, root password so we have to give okay 